What's up, phone fam? It's your boy, Not Enough. You already know. You gotta throw in some side quests and get some blaster bargains hunting in your agenda. So without further ado, let's see what these next three Goodwills that we haven't been to in like about a month have. We see one of these Hyperfire blasters, the vintage kind. Actually, I think the red, black, and gray came before the yellow variation. Looking at a brain saw here. These are always cool to see, but nothing special that I needed. So I put that right back. Ultra one without the drum nothing special retaliator always kind of cool but nothing i needed plus it wasn't on sale so another swarm fire here it was in pretty good shape but they wanted 15.99 for it. even with the black half off that would put me at eight bucks no thank you for another white retaliator xd series i love that paint scheme bulldog these are kind of cool except for the little deploy ee -E -E kind of gimmick that it has dominator all these zombie strike blasters are kind of cool with their paint schemes and their cool little survival gimmicks and a rev reaper nothing special putting that right back this was kind of cool it was a little air zone blaster if you guys know the model of it let me know got another one of these wild zombie strike things more xd parts a nice little strong arm here more busby stuff mega thunderhawk this thing is gigantic and a sun faded xd retaliator cool little ts shotgun i have now a red one and a blue one more on that later and what seems to be a teenage mutant ninja turtles i don't know if busby made this one or not let me know guys but that was kind of cool one of these nerf roblox adopt me bees lever action looking things Praxis VTX, always like getting these. Put it aside because I wanted to come pick it up when it's half off. A few rival blasters here, nothing special. And then I saw this red Hornet, but it was a green tag. That means it just got on the shelf. I definitely have to come back for this one when they drop it down. They wanted like $10, so I don't have one of those. I definitely want to grab it. I really want to get one of these Busby Tech 6s with this kind of air zone skin, but I haven't had luck finding a good one yet. Kind of down in the dumps, moving on to the next Goodwill, hoping that my luck turns around, and boy, did I get what I wished for. This Nitron was a sign of things to come. Retaliator, and then we got a cool stock. I don't know if this came with a blue Elite Strife or something else. Let me know, guys, but I found like three Rampages at this Goodwill. This was the first one I saw. Price was not too bad now they were in different conditions and then i saw this rapid strike they wanted 3.99 they had just picked it up so i put it aside i can never have enough rapid strikes second rampage this one was in a lot better condition i think they wanted a little bit more for it another retaliator and then i see some neon firefly mag inside a blue strife i'm excited about the blue strife and the firefly mag but that is a sign that there must be a raven nearby of course the camera already gave it away now i was going to rearrange all these stocks and accessories to figure out which one i wanted to take there's the third rampage there so i'm peeping that raven and i'm like okay we could do a little not enough detailing on it a dollar 99 i cannot make this stuff up guys i'll come to tell you this thrifting like american foam said on one of his episodes it's either beast or famine so we got the rapid strike we got this stock which i think i'm gonna put on the blue strife found one of these nerf mag strikes the icon variety didn't need it i put it away and this looks like a pretty good loot box so far so i'm gonna go ahead and run with this look what i just found the alien blaster that i wanted from arizona but in working condition with a good prime on to the next goodwill excited about that last pickup and it just doesn't stop sometimes does it the amazon exclusive zombie strike hammer shot with the cool black and yellow stripes variety damn i was happy with that checking out one more goodwill here and we see immediately a disruptor in really good shape on the shelf don't need any more of those got like i lost count and this weird blaster had some kind of like a three dart storage and a three dart ar this thing i'm not sure what it wanted to be it was like a crossbow slingshot thing we had uh the rocket launcher from a tri strike blue elite fire strikes but it wasn't that good let's see if we can score some luck like we did on that first couple good ones and then i see one of the original tommy 20s this thing is ancient i think this thing if i'm not mistaken is from the 2001 2002 era of year another one of these traffic signal targets it was in rough shape and another one of these fortnite grl missile launchers wanted too much money so i put that back try break hiding back here on the shelves nothing special so i did not take it clash combat good for donations I found another Hyperfire Elite. I picked up two of these so far. I didn't need another one, so I put it back. Seeing this Mega Thunderbow here. It's been here for weeks. At this point, I'm just going to wait for it to go on sale. Try strike here with the drum mag that goes to the Hyperfire. So I did a little bit of Lord's work and put those together. Alpha Hawk 
kind of cool don't really need it though apollo hiding back here cool little three flip up target returning motorized target set i really like these a lot but i didn't need it so maybe when it goes on sale put that right back for now checking out the next goodwill and we have immediately a dark zone adventure force quantum I don't know why they ever took these off the shelf because this used to be the Nemesis version of Dart Zone. Uh, I ended up actually grabbing that, believe it or not, because it actually worked very well. At this next Goodwill, I saw the ubiquitous Flip Fury and then one of these traffic targets I don't really need anymore. Another Tri Strike. Things are becoming common. And this target I was definitely going to take. Didn't feel like it had batteries in it. And 50% off toys. I got this for two bucks and it's got four targets. Come with me. Next, Goodwill. I see a Shadow ICS. Don't see these with the attachment often. Unfortunately, this one was in really bad shape. So I wasn't interested in taking it and uh, ultimately ended up putting it back. I did see an Ultra 4 right underneath it. Rip chain. See these all the time. Not on sale, don't need it. Moving on to the next Goodwill, and I see a Z Squad long shot from 2014. These are pretty cool. This one didn't have the scope or a mag, so I didn't end up taking it. Stopping at a Walmart on the way back. Cheapest I've seen in the MM2 Shark Seekers, 11 bucks. So I went ahead and grabbed two of them. The Nexus Pro is now down to 27 bucks. It was down to 29 last time I checked, but I didn't need it. Not too much this time. We always go by quality versus quantity anyway. This Dark Zone Quantum is my absolute first. This one actually runs. I put batteries in it. It's in really, really good shape. Happy to have that. It's my first one. At that crazy Goodwill where we found all these epic finds, found an N-Strike Elite Blue Strife. I didn't have one of these. I have two orange ones and two battle camels. Quite happy to pick this one up. I had batteries in it, but no corrosion. Now here's another banger. I was so happy to get this stock. This is actually the stock for the Blue Elite Stockade. It came on the Strife. I couldn't believe it. You guys saw the Blue Elite Stockade I pick up on episode seven, and now I have the shoulder stock that corresponds to it. Pretty good shape overall. It was missing the mag, but what kind of a nerf collector are you if you don't have way too many mags for your own good? <laughs> I had this rapid strike missing the clear mag which kind of sucks because it's one of the best attributes about it this is just a fantastic platform i love the way that the stock comes out it is in near perfect shape we got our cs18 raven i believe this is the end strike and very very first one that came out it does have a firefly mag i have never found the platform or the mag the mag does have corrosion inside i have yet to clean these but hurricane conditions have prevented me from doing much of anything lately found my very very first hammer shot of this color variation it happened to be in really good shape as well everything works real happy with it for some reason this one really appeals to me i've collected tech sixes before never collected the air zone variety just cool i love the aesthetic i love the different color contrast variations and the fact that everything works on this one so i'm really happy to have it this target was a last thrift find welcome to the shooting amusement park it actually choose solo player mode or multiplayer mode it actually talks to you it has soft touch buttons the solo player mode is on <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have some fun with this one just remember guys with these if you don't want to destroy them do not shoot them with anything dart zone pro i think max might be okay but i wouldn't risk it modded regular blasters at the very very most i believe i grabbed the absolute last destroyers that were on clearance i don't know because they plan to bring a new color back for 2023 now i hope that's the case i really like this style blaster i just hope they solidify the cylinder a little bit still got that wobble but other than that if you look at my best dart video if anything this set is worth it just based on the darts these are the only x shot darts that would fire out of sealed breech barrels such as the eon pro nexus pro max striker traditional length darts to be specific and they do so very fast i think i was getting 200 fps out of my dart zone pro tournament 1.2 happy to pick these up it was like four dollars i mean it's almost like a thrift price new in the box with darts you know i'm gonna grab it final retail grab this is the cheapest i found these they were 11 dollars originally 29.95 i want to thank you for your patience as we get our infrastructure back in florida after the hurricane disaster we will hopefully be back to full operation very soon once again thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.